Okay. Hello everybody. Welcome to the video. This is a video that I am making and it is also a video that you are watching. Today we are going to be looking at a public figure. His name is Jacob A. Hull. Wait, am I getting that right? I don't know. Yeah, who cares? Well, anyways, Jacob A. Hull is... I'm not entirely sure exactly what he is. You know, I've done no research. I know he's like a conservative speaker. I think he's appeared on Fox News a couple of times. Jacob rose to fame when he made this Instagram post. Sorry, I'm very bad at explaining things. That's why I need a script, and I just didn't say what I was supposed to say, so here it is. Or at least this is how I heard of him. Where this photo was taken was the National Women's History Museum, so good on him. Respecting women. He posted this. I use a locking briefcase. Whenever I walk through an airport or an office building with it, people stop and compliment it. They say, wow, you never see those anymore. The removal of the locking briefcase from civil society was a feminist conspiracy. Back in old days, if a man had an extra cell phone, it would go in his briefcase. Old days, cell phones haven't been around that long. Love note from his secretary, locking briefcase. Hockey tickets along the ice for him and his friends? Locking briefcase. Thanks to the feminists. Men are now expected to carry around a soft suede bag, preferably in a feminine color. It's time for men to take their privacy back. Get a locking briefcase today. P.S. New blog posts. Link in bio. Link in bio. I've done that many, many, many times. You think your briefcase is masculine? I'll show you my bag. This is my backpack, Jacob! It has 11 pouches! Way more masculine than your briefcase! Ah! This is a knockoff of that H-Bomber guy video. This post, obviously, I mean, it didn't get necessarily backlash. It just got a lot of, people are just making fun of it because it's stupid. The decrease in popularity of briefcases is thanks to the feminists. Do you think the feminists got better stuff to do? He disabled comments on pretty much all of his posts. He posts like pictures of cigars and other stuff he probably shouldn't do. He's since enabled comments on all of his new posts, but all of his old posts besides one have comments disabled. It's this cute video of a dog. In the past, I've called people who bring dogs to restaurants to be forced into mental health treatment. But this dog, I like. Oh, I'm talking like Yoda. I think I'm going to offer his owner cash and purchase him right here on the spot. What do you think? Okay, first of all, there are reasons why people bring dogs in the restaurants. Eye seeing dogs, uh, there's like therapy dogs. There are many reasons. I decided to leave this comment. Sorry, I didn't explain this either. I'm sorry to leave this comment on this cute dog video, but you've disabled comments everywhere else, so you left me no choice. Your post about how the decrease of briefcases is a feminist conspiracy theory is probably the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Even more ridiculous than Steven Crowder's transgender dog prank. Yes, that video does exist. Also, don't adopt that dog. He's too good for you. I'd like to adopt him though. I would give him a nice, healthy soy boy diet. Yeah, this guy is just, just a weirdo on the internet. His most recent post, is it's 2020 365 days from now you can be unrecognizable to yourself and everyone you know okay first of all it's a leap year you idiot second of all why did why do you exist he has a website jacobwall.org consultant political operative and speaker so in his instagram highlights he has this ask me anything paul you could just go to and ask him anything, and he often shares it on his story. 20 hours ago, somebody asked him about red flags from girls on first three dates. He gives dating advice. I'd love to hear his dating advice, because, you know, he's so good with women. He was at the Women's History Museum. Red flags from girls on first three dates. If a girl says my ex was a sociopath, that means she's dumb. Sociopathy is not even a real thing. Sounds a lot like something a sociopath would say. I don't know. But that's just my opinion. What camera do you use? iPhone 11 Pro Max. Of course you do. We are going to look at his Twitter account. <clears throat> I'm sure he has very reasonable tweets. I'm sure Twitter loves him on their platform. And I'm sure he's very nice to everybody on there. And I'm sure he's very reasonable dude. So let's take a look. Oh. Well. Oh well. I don't know, I'm gonna keep 
stalking his Instagram page about once a month. I'm obsessed with him. He's hilarious. I hope his, he doesn't find this video and links it to his fan base and then they all come dislike it. That would be bad. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up. If you disliked it, leave a thumbs up. Uh, see you guys later.